So the title is The Ecstatic Pessimist, and it's actually, um, it's a story about an alcoholic who's having problems with his uh, partner, and she actually leaves him because he's unwilling to start uh, stop drinking. And in many ways, that's sort of a little bit personal in the sense that that was a journey I took for myself. So I just really like the words together, but I think that, you know, I've changed over the 10 years since that story was written, and I think maybe I wanted to get it out of my system, you know, to be like, okay, this is done. This is a part of my life. I really wanted to get the collection out and just, you know, I, I'm working on another book. I know there's a book after that. People are like, three memoirs, Carla. I'm like, yes, damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so it, in some ways, I wonder if I should have stuck to that. I have some people who are like, you know, do you want to put pessimism out in the world? Because that's obviously very counter to my own like energy. But I think it was it, it was a saying goodbye to a part of me, and and it's a catchy name, and and you know, and people. I I put up one of those polls, and it seemed to resonate with a lot of people. So maybe that was why it resonated with you as well. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, we we. Liberty people and people who sort of live with liberty values forward, this is obviously a bit of a trying time. I think I would be more pessimistic, honestly, if I wasn't here with the Free State Project in New Hampshire, because I feel like, okay, there are things that, you know, we should be worried about, right. but I feel like I'm working towards solutions and not just focusing on the problems.